when it comes to the world of business and anything that's strictly financial, if somebody is not paying attention and you mess with their pockets a little bit, you watch them start to pay attention. And this is what's happening to Adam Silver. At least I am hoping and praying for Adam Silver's sake that this is what is finally starting to happen to a man. As we all know, the All-Star Game was just a couple of days ago. And it was, um, not to be too uh, disrespectful, hot garbage, um, trash, basura. Zip, zero, nada, nothing there for me, nothing there for the majority of people. That is why the ratings keep going lower and lower and lower. And especially, especially when the future talent of the NBA, somebody like a Anthony Edwards, the comments that he went on to make, if this is not making Adam Silver lose sleep at night, if this is not making Adam Silver um Think about checking Anthony Edwards behind closed doors. Then, oh my goodness, I feel sorry for Adam Silver and where the NBA is headed. But I don't think so because I think Adam Silver is really, really feeling the pressure financially, bro. Anthony Edwards was being interviewed in All-Star Weekend. Um, you know, asked uh, basically what could be done to make the game more competitive. And this is Anthony Edwards' answer to the interviewer. Um... You know, he says, it's always fun. I don't know what they can do to make it more competitive. It's always fun. But I don't know what they can do to make it more competitive once again. And he went on to say, pay attention here. Pay attention. He went on to say, it's a break. So I guess um, for him, probably a vacation. Um, I don't think anybody wants to come here and compete. You know, what blows my mind is um, you want people to tune in to watch this so you can generate revenue, you can generate money um, to pay these all-stars the hundreds and millions of dollars that they are getting paid. Um, besides that, it's gonna get to a point, I mean, I get it, it's m majority celebrities and, and, and people just going there to mess around that buy these tickets, bro, but I feel like it's gonna get to a point where people aren't even gonna physically go to watch the all-star game. If your star player, one of the future faces of the NBA is standing here staring at the people in the eyes, bro, basically saying that for him, this is a break. People don't come here to take it seriously. It's a vacation, basically. I mean, I don't understand how you expect the people to take it serious, uh, serious and tune in to watch your all-star game, bro. Think about that. This is basic common sense. And Adam Silver, I hope you get it together um, very quickly because your ratings are going down. I mean, even the NBA Finals ratings are going down. Like I said, man, I don't know what we have to, I mean, what the NBA has to do because I love basketball. I'm saying we, but what the NBA has to do to fix this? You know, I made a video saying um, maybe these guys have gotten paid so much money that they just really don't care anymore. But then again, the other day I was listening to... um. Austin Rivers and Kendrick Perkins talk and Kendrick Perkins is over here saying maybe they need to take the Brink truck uh, the Brinks truck to um, All-Star Weekend so the winning team gets extra money how they did in the in-season tournament and maybe even get an iced out ring or something like that and I'm thinking to myself Jesus Christ is it gonna get to a point where um we're going to start having to give these players bonuses after every single regular season game because, you know, they're just going to choose not to play. I mean, how much money is enough money? And, and let me remind you guys, this is an all-star game. These are the best what, 20 players, whatever it is, 24 players in the NBA competing in this game. That means these are the highest, highest paid players in the NBA. Top of the echelon. Top of notch i mean at this point i mean how greedy can you get bro and you think people are so dumb you think people aren't listening you think people aren't paying attention guess what bro you're free to say that you're on vacation and we are free not to watch anymore and let me tell you something each and every single person that watches and supports the nba to those players out there that don't take those fans seriously all Play a role in that money going into your bank account. Uh, those checks being written to you. 
your jerseys being purchased, your sneakers being purchased, those tickets being bought, those drinks and the popcorn and all that being bought. And when they're not at the game, they're at home tuning in to watch you play. And if you are not taking it serious, why should people continue to rock with you? Why should people continue to support you? Um, why should people support your product, basically, bro? And if you guys keep messing around like this, I'm telling you, the NBA is going to have some big, big problems coming their way, man. You don't want the future of your league, this future face of your league, Anthony Edwards, saying some outrageous stuff like that, like the All-Star break is a vacation for him, bro. I mean, they probably play harder at uh, having a one-on-one -on -one game in practice, bro. They probably scrimmage harder than the All-Star game. Now, granted, before I wrap this up, the people are not saying that these guys should be diving for every loose ball like it's a Game 7 NBA Finals game. I mean, which we really don't even see that anymore these days. We're not saying to dive for every loose ball out there, but I mean, for God's sakes, can we get a little bit of defense, bro? Just a tiny bit of defense, bro. A little bit, a little bit goes a long way, bro, or at least in the second half, or at least the second, starting from the second part of the third quarter to the fourth quarter, can we get some damn competition? Because these are supposed to be the best players in the world playing a pickup basketball game, and this is what we are tuning in to watch, bro. We're not tuning in for you guys to run around and do your damn handshakes that you guys come up with and yippy yappy he 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 ha 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 him together bro hugging and kissing each other bro you know um talking about where you guys are gonna go after the game being all buddy whatty bro we don't want to see that we want to see a little bit of competition bro a little bit of competition you know respect the game and also respect the people that are supporting you and supporting your league because let me say this man one last time and let me make myself absolutely Absolutely clear. Without the fans, without the fans spending money, buying tickets, buying shoes, buying jerseys, buying merchandise, without the fans at home tuning in to watch you guys play, those millions and millions and millions of dollars in the future are no longer going to be made by these players. And maybe if that happens, you guys just might start taking these games a little bit more serious and not spitting at the face of the fans that spend their hard, hard worked money to support you guys and watch you guys hoop, bro. And that's my rant for the day, for today. Salute to the fam. Salute to the squad. Adam Silver, I wish you luck. It's your boy Armin with Real Talk. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace and blessings.